Snow Day, written by Barbara M. Juicy and illustrated by Jennifer Plekis. The snow came at night, swirling and swishing. It piled on the ground in big, whipped peaks. In the morning, the plow could not get through. Neither could the school bus. Robbie and Zippy were the first to see the snow. Robbie blew on the window pane and watched his breath freeze into lace. He scratched out his name, R O B B Y. Zippy barked at a crow. His breath froze on the window too. It's a snow day! Robbie yelled, dancing across the floor in his bare feet, twirling like the flakes in the sky. Zippy barked and twirled like a furry flake. Robbie ran to his sister's room. There's tons of snow outside! He shouted, bouncing on the bed. Louise looked out the window. Wow! I bet they call off school. Let's go listen to the radio. When the radio announcer said their school was closed, Robbie and Louise let out a yelp. Zippy jumped in the air. I'm going to watch TV," said Louise. "It's dumb to waste a snow day on television," Robbie said to Zippy. "Let's wake up Heather." Heather," Robbie said into Heather's sleeping ear. "It's a snow day. There's no school." "Ugh, good. Wake me up for lunch." Heather was too grown up to be excited about the snow. She covered her head with her blanket. Only her foot stuck out. Zippy nibbled it, and tell that dog to leave me alone. Heather mumbled into her pillow. Mom and Dad get grouchy too when we wake them up. Robbie whispered to Zippy, "Let's make our own breakfast. White bread with powdered sugar would be good for a snow day," said Robbie. He sifted powdered sugar onto his bread until it mounded up like snow. Zippy wanted some too. When he barked at the sugar, it flew in the air and made it look like it was snowing inside. Mom and Dad came downstairs. Oh my! Said Mom, looking at the sugar snow. It looks like you made your own breakfast. Yes, said Robbie. And now we're going outside. Dad helped Robbie button up his jacket. Robbie helped Zippy into his. Mom put a scarf around Robbie's face. Have fun, dear. She said. Robbie and Zippy were the first ones to mark up the snow. They ran and ran, kicking and licking and skidding. Soon their footprints were everywhere. Robbie pulled his scarf off his face and ran up to the living room window. Louise, he shouted, "Let's make snow angels." Louise looked at Robbie's flattened face. "Okay," she said. Louise and Robbie fell onto the snow and flapped their legs and arms. "I'm going to make snow monsters," Robbie said, squirming in the snow until it looked like a monster with two heads. Zippy made snow dogs. Dad came out to shovel the driveway. He lifted off big chunks of snow and piled them to the side. Zippy and Robbie and Louise ran back and forth in Dad's tunnels. Then they took the chunks of snow and piled them higher. Dad poked his head above the snow tunnel. "Boo!" he yelled. Louise clobbered Dad with snowballs. He clobbered back. Pretty soon, snowballs were flying everywhere. Some of them landed on the kitchen door. "What's going on out here?" asked Mom. "It's a snow fight!" everybody yelled. "Not without me, it isn't." Mom scooped up a big handful of snow, squeezed it together, and nailed Dad. "Hooey!" yelled Dad. "Men on one side, women on the other." "That's not fair!" shouted Heather, running outside to join the women's side. Dad and Robbie and Zippy got on one side. Mom and Louise and Heather got on the other. Snowballs flew. Everybody whooped and hollered and threw and ducked until they fell on the snow, exhausted. "Uh oh, it's snowing again," said Mom. "It's time for cocoa." 
Robbie and Louise and Heather carried in armloads of wood, stomping the snow off their boots in the doorway. Dad piled the wood in the fireplace. Mom crumpled up a few pieces of paper, lit a match, and started the fire. Louise and Heather made cocoa. Robbie put colored marshmallows on top. He put some in Zippy's dish, too. Then they sat by the fire, sipping hot chocolate, and watched the snow fill the windows, making the whole outside soft and whispery white. Zippy hogged the blanket. The End This Read Aloud has been brought to you by Time to Read to Us. Hit the subscribe button for more kid-friendly read-alouds. Thanks for watching!